cat is over there sitting on my sandals. I have some pickups to show, so... Ah, uh, no fluff, let's just get right into it. Actually, I will do a little bit of fluff, I'm a liar. I have been doing a lot of game hunting recently, so for the lack of uploads, I know I usually upload, like, one pickups video a week or something, but... Um... Simple answer is I've just been lazy. Um, <laughs> I've been working a lot, just been uh, doing a lot of stuff, hanging out with people, talking to people, you know, just, uh, just getting out into the world and having fun, you know. Focusing on real life stuff more than the whole, uh, on the whole YouTube thing. Which isn't to say I haven't been around, you know, I've still been checking out videos and that. I've just been doing a lot of other stuff as well, you know. Playing a lot of games, which is nice. I've finished Portal 2, which was an awesome game. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll get a video. And I'm currently playing a game that I have bought in this uh, video, so yeah, that will get a video shortly as well, because I've almost finished it, but that's all. Let's do these pickups. Firstly, I'm going to have to go in and grab a whole lot of other stuff. Give me a second. <sighs> okay, first up, a CEX sexual healing, as 2D UK likes to say. I went to my local CEX, I traded in a bunch of stuff, um, I've had a lot of stuff to sell on eBay, and, you know, I'll look up how much I'm going to get for it, and I'll look up how much I could trade in the CEX for, and if it's about the same amount, I'll just trade in the CEX, you know, saves me having to bother with it. So I traded in a bunch of stuff there, got a bunch of credit, bought some stuff, still have like over a hundred bucks in credit, so I mean, I'll have to go back at some point get some more stuff, but we have movies and we have games here. This will be a mix. A lot of movies in this one, so, you know, I know people like games more than movies, but deal with it, I guess. Just for the movies that I got from CEX, we have Island of the Shark, the documentary. Uh, I've been getting into my docos recently. I watched uh, Planet Earth 2 recently, really fun to watch, so hopefully this one will be just as good. You know, um, Ignore like prices and stuff, it was all on credit, so it's like, I usually work it out to like, if I pay a dollar for something cash, I'll usually get at least three dollars credit for it, so it's like, maybe like, I think I pay in a third of whatever this stuff is out of my own pocket. Uh, the Devil Rides Out, it's really cool, this is a Hammer Horror movie, one I really want to sit down and watch, I'm actually going to put it to the side so I can sit down and watch it after this video, because it's one I really want to sit down and watch. I've been getting into the classic horror, as you know, so yeah, Hammer Horror, really good. Uh, the Mist, this one I didn't have in my collection, I do enjoy this movie, it's one I wanted. Good movie, you know, it's about like, a nuclear reactor goes down or something, and like, demons get released out of this portal, it's cool. Uh, Wing Commander, which I totally <laughs> forgot got a movie, um, I'm sure this is terrible. Uh, the Abom- The Abominable? I always screw up on that word for some reason. Dr. Fives! Really good movie. I had the sequel to this on Blu-ray. This is from really early 70s. So this is a classic horror movie. Yeah, we got all that in there. This is a really cool movie. It's about like uh, Vincent Price plays this guy who is trying to get revenge on these uh, doctors who killed his wife. It's really good. And he uses like the seven deadly sins or something. Or like, no, it's like I think it's the Twelve Plagues of Egypt from the book of... I don't remember one of the books of the Bible. It has some fun facts on the back here. This was Vincent Price's 100th movie. And although drained of blood in this version, actor Terry Thomas reappeared in the 1972 sequel. And the director of this also directed many TV episodes of The Avengers, so that's pretty cool. I like The Avengers. Um, The I-2. CX has really good prices on movies, though. You can get some for like two bucks, a dollar. I don't remember if I've seen this one. I've seen the original. The original is super scary. It's about this woman who gets an eye transplant. She can see, like, ghosts and stuff. Really freaky. And now for the games. We have Crackdown 2. I enjoy some crack. Down 2. <laughs> That's an awful joke. Oh, five dollars, I would have paid that out of pocket in cash, but it was on credit, so even better. Yeah, just a uh, good game, though. Played the original. Uh, my friend has played this, and he said it's really good, so I believe him. 
And I'm getting a lot of, like, exclusives for the Xbox 360. I don't really dig the multiplats for the 360, but exclusives I will buy. I did buy this for Xbox 360, and I actually sold it on because I didn't want it on 360. We have Far Cry The Wild Expedition. Cool set. It has Far Cry Classic, Far Cry 2, 3, and Blood Dragon, which is the best of the bunch. Uh, Far Cry Blood Dragon is really, really cool. Yeah, just one I wanted to get. Only 8 bucks for this. Once again, I probably would have paid that out of pocket. I paid that out of pocket for the other copy, so I mean, yeah, really good set. Unfortunately, the um, two of these games are on uh, like a code thing. And only Far Cry 2 and 3 are on disc, but that's okay. I just have to hope they work. Only a dollar on this PlayStation 2 game, Aragon. I don't remember if I have this or not, but I remember it being fun. I have played this before on like a demo disc, and it was fun. It was a lot like the, um... If you ever played the Lord of the Rings games for PlayStation 2, it's a lot like that. I and mean, that's good enough in my book, you know. It's not a little hack and slasher. Uh, the only thing I bought from CX to sell on... Oh, Silent Hill Homecoming. They did have a lot of stuff that I could have bought to sell on, but I didn't want to go crazy spending all my credit. I want. I always like to have a little bit of credit spare when I go into CEX, just so I'm not spending out of pocket for anything. But yeah, Silent Hill Homecoming. I enjoy this game. I have played and finished it, as I have all the other Silent Hill games except for 4. Good game. Uh, this is an X rental, unfortunately. But if someone really wants it, I don't think they're going to care that much. And the only place it's really affecting is the disc, and I, I don't think I'm going to try and peel it off, because there's a little bit of stuff there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to have a go at peeling that off. That might take the artwork on the disc with it. That's okay. And another one for the collection, one I plan to sit down and play, and one I've wanted to play for a long time. I had this on Xbox 360 at one point. It is Saw. This is just based on the movie. You go through like these deadly traps and missions and stuff. It it looks like my kind of game. I always dig my horror. I know Two D UK hates horror, but I love it. I love that the disc is like a saw. That's really cool. It just looks fun. I don't care if it's a good or bad game. It looks fun. All right, that's the stuff from CEX. And near CEX is a cash converter, so I went in there. Uh, this will be the only cash converters finds for the entire episode. Which is weird, because usually it's like, uh, most of our stuff comes from cash converters, rest of the stuff is just, um... Uh, the cash converters is usually the meat of the meal, and the rest is just like, uh, the peas and potatoes and all that. But from cash converters, I grabbed, on the Nintendo Wii, Transformers Dark of the Moon Stealth Force Edition. I'm not sure if this is going to be a good game, but I know it's exclusive to the Wii. Looks fun. I generally enjoy any Transformers game, you know. There's always fun to be had going around as a giant robot destroying things, even if the gameplay isn't all that great. But it looks good. Graphics look okay for the Wii. I'll sit down and play this at some point. It'll be fun. And one that I don't plan to play, straight in the collection with this one. Um, guy at the counter gave me a little bit of a dirty look for this one because he saw the rating. It is... Atelier Verona Plus, The Alchemist of Ireland. Seven bucks. And it is R18 Plus with references to sexual violence. Uh, I probably won't be sitting down and playing this one. It's just fun for the collection, I guess. Which basically means I wasted seven bucks, but whatever. It'll look nice on my shelf when I can wank to it. As Grubgun likes to say. It's like, can I meet you fucking three days from now, you know? And I'm like, three days from now, motherfucker? I want the fucking Skrilla now. I don't want the fucking Skrilla in fucking three days. And I'm gonna actually, you know, instead of sitting around staring at wanking to a fucking shelf full of games, I'm gonna be fucking having an adventure. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the original version of this game is like PG, so I mean, they must have added some really weird stuff. You can see there's seven bucks. Yeah, one for the collection, I guess. Probably the best pickups of this episode.
gotten in an op shop. I paid about ten dollars total for these. This was in a church op shop near where I live. I don't go in there super often, but as I was heading home, I just thought, yeah, I'll pop in, see if they have anything. And I'm really glad I did. Because they had some original Xbox games. Usually when I see original Xbox, game, Xbox games, I'll go, e I probably already have these, but I'll have a look. And I had a look through them, and I'm like, huh, I don't have a couple of these. So I picked up, these are $2.50 each. A Project Zero Two Crimson Butterfly Director's Cut. One I really want to sit down and play. I have the first Project Zero, which is um, Fatal Frame. It's called Project Zero over here, it's called Fatal Frame in other places, so yeah. Uh, I, I dig the first one. I think it's a okay horror game. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it's the great gem that everyone says it is, but I think it's good. Hopefully they fixed a lot of the bad stuff in this sequel. And I think this is also on the Nintendo Wii, but don't quote me on that one. I think the Wii version is like a completely different game. But yeah, $2.50, great deal on this. Great deal. Definitely one I'll sit down and play in the coming week. I have four days off in the next week because I've been just working so many days. They have to give me the RDOs. So, I mean, yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be a fun time sit down and test out a lot of these, watch a lot of movies, it's going to be great. Might do a live stream or two, who knows. And one to sell, one I already have, I will have to check this one with my copy. We have the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, Game of the Year edition. Always a good one to grab. I've not sat down and played this fully yet. I used to have this on PC actually, so, but I was like 10 years old when I got it. Was I? When did it come out? 2003? Yeah, about 10. <laughs> Would have been about 10 years old when I got it. I thought it was the hardest game in the world. I could not figure out anything, but I had so much fun going around killing monsters. That it was worth it for me. I got like a lightning sword thing that every time I struck someone, they would be hit by lightning. I thought it was the greatest game. Even if I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah, someday I'll sit down and play this one fully. And for only $2.50, this one is to sell on as I already do have a copy. The Blu-ray set to sell has not sold yet, but maybe it will, who knows. If it doesn't sell, I'll take it into CEX, they'll give me something for it. Atlantis. Uh, from the BBC, three discs. Thought I'd grab it. I did grab another thing while I was there, Toy Story Racer on the PlayStation 1, but that's already been sold for 20 bucks, but yeah. So I'll let you know I grabbed that. I also grabbed this, which... In terms of like uh, money items, this is probably the best one. We have Microsoft Office Home and Student 2007, brand new and sealed. I'm telling you, man, software sets always worth grabbing. These are uh, Microsoft Office ones, as long as you can make sure they have like the um, as long as you can make sure they have like uses on them still. As long as you can make sure they still work, they're good. Otherwise, they're like junk. Yeah, that's still brand new, so that should still have three uses. Am I filming? Yeah, I'm still filming. I get paranoid. Alright. The rest of the stuff was over two days. First off, we have yesterday, Saturday. I went to local tip shop on the day of their opening. Not like the day they open, like the day they open every week. Like they open on Saturday every week, so that's the day I go. And sometimes they have a lot of good stuff, sometimes they don't. This time they had a lot of good stuff. I paid $16 for all of this, which is incredible. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 items for a total of 16 bucks. That's really good. First off, we have another software set, Office Mac 2004. Uh, I won't be selling this because I need to get a Mac to test this. I have other Mac software as well, but it's like when I see it's super cheap, like for $1.50 or something, I'll always grab them. So it's like later on down the line, maybe I can get 15 20 bucks for it once I can test it. The only PlayStation 2 game 
Let me stick it's a series of unfortunate events. Maybe it's shit, I don't know. But it is mint. I mean, Jesus. This thing looks like it was never played ever. The only kind of wear is on the manual, but whatever. I remember this movie coming out. This had, um, what's his name? Ah, uh, what's his name? Jim Carrey in it. It was, it was a weird movie. Now, I'll show all the DVDs as their own thing. A few more games. Have a demo disc for Burnout 3. Whatever. Nobody cares about demo discs. Uh, one I'll probably sell on because it's worth about 20 bucks. We have Call of Duty 2. I already have this for the PlayStation 2, so I don't really need it for the 360. I'm sure it has like better graphics than that on the 360, but... I don't really care. I would rather sell this on, make a bit of cash from it. In front of like a dollar fifty, can't beat that. I remember this being really good back in the day too. And what I usually sell for 25, 30 bucks, we have The Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle Earth. On the PC, just sitting on a shelf. I mean, people don't grab PC games for whatever reason. You know, they just don't know what to look for, so I always get my uh, pick of the litter. Unfortunately, this one has a pretty scratched up first disc. Yeah, it's really scratched up. I'm going to be amazed if that doesn't come out on the camera. Deep scratches there. So it's like, it, it won't work until I get it buffed. Thankfully, I have found a place where I can get stuff buffed. I found out the uh, Pennywise in Bean Lee gets, has a buffing machine, so... I'm going to take a bunch of stuff there at some point, get it all buffed out, and then I can start selling it. You know, I have a few games that are like that where I just need to buff them out and they can go. Alright, let's show the movies. Firstly, here's something that's just kind of cool. Ooh, sorry. We have Family Guy Presents Blue Harvest. I remember when this came out. People don't remember, but this was a big deal when this came out. I remember seeing so many ads for this. All of my friends watched it. It was like at the peak of Family Guy's popularity. At least in like the schoolyard and stuff like that. Like it's really nice. It's got like embossed artwork and it's got all of this bonus stuff on there. But what I bought it for, the only thing I wanted was this blue harvest shirt and it's in my size large. So I'm gonna wear that. I'll wear a Family Guy shirt in 2017, I have no shame. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll wear that, it'll be fun. And yeah, I love the movie, it's a fun movie. Let's well, we some other movies. I've actually already watched a couple of these. We have... The Jacket. Oh, it was okay. It's about, um... Adrian Brody as like this crazy guy. He can't die or something like that. He gets put in a men mental institution because he supposedly killed a cop. And then, like, he can travel back in time in the future and stuff. It's weird. It's okay. Uh, this one was terrible. Hansen, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. <laughs> this is awful, but I really, really liked it. I'm going to hold on to this one and watch it again at some point. This just seems... It's a really bad, fun movie. It's a real popcorn flick. Definitely worth watching if you're looking for something to just like zone out to. It's like it's Hansel and Gretel, except they're adults. They're like badasses and they kill witches with guns. It's really weird. Um, Awakenings. Heard nothing but good things about this movie, so looking forward to sitting down and watching it at some point. A three movie collection with the apparition, the right, and the conjuring. I really like the conjuring. And the right was okay as well. I haven't seen the apparition. Now, these are all a good set to get on the cheap, so I mean, good to get. Uh, double pack, The Hills Have Eyes, and The Hills Have Eyes 2. A lot of horror in this one, which is cool. I always dig my horror movies. Haven't seen any of these. No idea what they're about. What well, that looks cool. Sleepy Hollow. This is based on the, um,. Legend of Ichibod, which is... is it? 
Yeah, Ichabod Crane and the Headless Horseman. Yeah, I thought so. It's a Tim Burton film, has Johnny Depp. It's probably going to be good, as they usually are. It won an Academy Award in 1999 for art direction, so that's cool. What I'm looking forward to sitting down and watching, another one. A lot of good movies in this one. We have Boyhood on Blu-ray. You can get Blu-rays at the tip shop too, man. I mean, people don't care about physical media anymore, that's obvious. They're just, everybody gets it out on the cheap, which is what I like. Yeah, Boyhood. This is supposed to be filmed over like an 18 year period or something, from like some, yeah, filmed over 12 years using the same cast. It's from some kids, like, um, it's like, yeah, it's like some guy's boyhood, like him starting off as a kid and then growing up over the point of 12 years, and it's filmed over the point of 12 years of all the same actors, so it's like you actually get to see them age. It's like, that's pretty cool, that's really artsy and awesome, and it's supposed to be a good movie too, so sit down and watch that. And True Grit, which if you haven't seen, you're not a man. Great movie. Right, that's all the stuff from the tip shop. Last set of stuff here was from ooh, local. What was it? Local markets. Went to local markets. I actually, have something else as well. I put stuff away, which is stupid. Oh, yeah, I've got to show this. Also, on my trip out to the tip shop, I stopped at a op shop, and they had some bits. Nothing I really wanted. Alright, so, camera ran out of battery, like, uh, not battery, uh, memory, as it does, which is fine, just unload it onto my laptop, good to go. So, for two, for five dollars, I got Cars 2 on the PlayStation 3. Believe it or not, harder to find for some reason, I don't know why, it's just Cars, it was released in, like, 2011, it should be easy to find, but this commands like, if you look on Aussie eBay, this commands stupid prices. Like, sold listings are weird. It's just a weird game, it's hard to find, and I don't see it very often, so I mean, yeah, go on again. It's actually one I wanted to sit down and play, too. I really like the original Cars game for some reason. It's just like, it's a real chill-out kind of game. You don't have to have like a really complex game to have fun. You can have like this kind of game where you just... You're just chilling out. You're doing easy missions and stuff. So, yeah. Now, flea market stuff. Went to local markets. Got quite a bit of stuff. Visited my mate Eddie, who runs a retro gaming stand. Has a lot of retro games. There. Yeah. Never grow a beard. You get hair in your mouth all the time. But I bought some stuff to trade in, nothing great, like crappy PlayStation 2 games, like sports games and that. And I just, he, like he didn't really want it, but I just grabbed one game and said, hey, can we do like a straight trade for this? And he was like, oh, okay. It's a game he would have asked like 15 bucks for, so he's not losing out anything. Shadow Master on PlayStation 1, just, what I didn't have, really fun game. You go around this uh, world and like you're shooting monsters and stuff, and you have like different uh, weapons and stuff. It's really good. All of the monsters are really well textured and all of that. It's a really good looking game for the PlayStation One. Definitely recommend this one if you can find it. Fun game. Also grabbed from him for five bucks. He does Atari games on the cheap. Zaxxon. A Sega game on the Atari, which is pretty cool. I uh, haven't sat down to test this one yet. I just got it recently, so... <sighs> he doesn't test Atari games himself. That's why he has them on the cheap. And he always says, Hey man, if they don't work, bring them back. You can do a swap. All good. Yeah, look forward to playing that one. I like Zaxxon. It's like a shoot 'em up It's good. I grabbed this for $5 and was really excited. Valkyria Chronicles 2. What I want to try out. Just a, um, it's a strategy RPG. It's supposed to be really good on the PlayStation Portable. It's also on the PlayStation 4, I think. They ported it. But it didn't have anything inside it. So I was annoyed. I was like, hey man, would you take like 50 cents for the case? He said, yeah, sure. I took it home and I started rummaging around in my games. I'm like, 
I know I have a PSP RPG that has the wrong game in it. I found this one in my collection. I was like, is it this one? I opened it. Lo and behold, Valkyria Chronicles 2. Now I just need to find Fantasy Star Portable. <laughs> you find one game and you have to find another, right? Eh? What can you do? But yeah, that's in there now. I don't care about having a manual for it. I want to sit down and play it. It'll be good. A lot of games I want to sit down and play in this. A uh, cool set that I got for $5 here from another seller. This was a DVD set of Spawn, the Ultimate Collection. This is a four disc set. It has like the three Spawn movies made by HBO, which are like the animated ones. It also has some online thing. Because it's some website or another. Ah, the discs are falling out. Unfortunately, the uh, spindles to hold them aren't the best, but... Ah! You can see it all there. It's all there. I could have just told you it was all there. I didn't have to show you. Whatever. Right, got plastic pieces falling down everywhere. I'll just throw them back in. <laughs> Maybe they'll fix themselves. Uh, I'm hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. There's no hope. That was cool to get. I bought some Blu-rays as well. Um, a few Blu-rays in this one. But I don't usually buy Blu-rays. You know, I'm usually happy with DVDs, but I saw these and they were my kind of price. I thought, yeah, I'll grab them. For $3 each, we have the Omega Man of Charlton Heston. I do have this on DVD, so I'll probably give the DVD to an op shop. Unless someone wants it, I guess. Yeah, really good movie. This is based on the book The Omega Man, which has had a number of um, movie adaptions. It had one of Vincent Price in the early 60s, I think. It had this one, and it also had I Am Legend, which is probably the one that everyone knows. It's just a good story, you know, Last Man on Earth. Everyone else around him was like a zombie or a vampire. And they're all out to get him. Also got this one, which is supposed to be good as well. X-Men Apocalypse. I haven't seen a lot of the X-Men movies. I don't think I've seen a single X-Men movie since... Well, I saw Logan. But before that, the only one I'd seen was like X-Men 3 or something. So I have a lot to watch. I also saw X-Men Origins with Wolverine. That was good. But yeah, look forward to sitting down and watching that one too. The last video game for this video. So if you are only really interested in video games, you can see this and click off. This one was twenty dollars from a seller. I usually, don't like to spend twenty bucks just on a random game, especially at a flea market. You know, you're looking to get really good deals on stuff. But so this, I was like, hey, it's in this cool little set. I'll grab it. Rise of the Tomb Raider, twenty year celebration. This is a really cool game. I was, I'm most of the way through this game. I only have like a few more missions to do, and then. You can do like challenge tombs and that, which I also have to do. Like there's a bunch of extra stuff in it as well. But yeah, I've been enjoying this a lot. For 20 bucks, I'm really getting my money's worth out of this. I've played it for about 10 hours so far, I think. And it's just, there's it's just a lot of stuff to do. I mean, look at all the stuff in here. There's all the stuff in the bottom that you get extra with this little set. That's cool. New chapter, Blood Ties. Alright. I'll have to do that at some point as well. Or maybe I've already done it, I don't know. <laughs> but it's a lot like the um, 2013 game on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 in that you play as Lara Croft and you're kind of going through this big open area. And there's a lot of like little missions to do. And you can also go and do like the main missions, but you can stay and do like a lot of little side missions as well to get like better equipment and stuff. It's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying going through like the uh, bonus stuff. That's like the most fun I'm having in this. I'm really enjoying going through like bonus challenges and stuff. There's a lot of little tombs to explore with their own little puzzles, and they're a lot of fun as well. Just a lot of fun. Uh, third-person shooter, kind of like the over-the-shoulder thing that we get with a lot of third-person shooters these days. But it's a lot of fun. It's definitely worth playing if you like the 2013 reboot. This is just like. This is a sequel to it. It's 
it's improved upon a little bit. There's a lot more to do. It's more of the same, but better. It's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. Let's look in here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this. You can do co-op as well. You can play through the whole game co-op, apparently. That's cool. But yeah, 20 bucks for that. I think it's a good deal, because I'm getting my money's worth out of it. Okay, and finally... Five more movies. Two I've already watched, so I'll talk about them first. Seller had movies, five for five dollars or three dollars each. So basically, you have to get five, otherwise you're gonna get. You have to get five, otherwise you're gonna get ripped off. So the five movies I grab. First one here, Galgameth, which is not a very good movie, but the story around the movie is really interesting. It's based on a story by a. South Korean director who was trapped in North Korea. He got like kidnapped and forced to make movies. And like one of the movies he made was then Americanized for this release. So it's just kind of cool. It's about a. It's basically Macbeth where, you know, a king dies, his trusted close friend was the one who killed him, and he takes over and he kicks out the son, and the son goes out, becomes a man, comes back and kills him. So. Yeah, pretty simple. Except this one has a giant Godzilla monster in it. So it's pretty good. Manhunter. This was a lot of fun. This is kind of like Silence of the Lambs. It's based on Red Dragon, the book. And Red Dragon is really good. As, you know, the movie and the book. Yeah, and this is kind of... It's a lot like Red Dragon, but it's more of a loose retelling. It's not perfect, but... You know, it's based on the, um... What's his name? Tooth Fairy? Yeah, the Tooth Fairy. He, like, stalks people and kills them, like, entire families and stuff, and the police are trying to catch him. It's good. It's really good. Good 80s movie. And the three I have not seen, Die Monster Die with, uh, Boris Karloff. Looks good. I have seen this one, but not for a long time. An American Werewolf in Paris. Sequel to An American Werewolf in London, which I really enjoy. And Donnie Darko, which is in this, like, cool lenticular thing. I have not seen Donnie Darko. I hear it's good. We'll see. Alright. That's everything. I'm going to go and continue to enjoy my day. I'm going to play some more Tomb Raider. I'm going to watch some movies and probably go out for a drive and get some potting mix for my plants. Why not? I mean, yeah. Alright. See you at my house, bidding you farewell. I hope you all have a good one, and I will see you guys next time. And that's all, folks.